Since 1955, Women of Achievement has been celebrating women who have demonstrated dedication and commitment to the St. Louis community. Joining us is the president of the Women of Achievement, Nancy Bobrow. Welcome, Nancy. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for having me. So you are at the almost the tail end, or maybe not the tail end, but this, you're in your second year of for the presidency of the Women of Achievement. Yes, so, that's correct. I tell am. us about the Women of Achievement, 60 years. Yes, we're just so excited that we were founded by the Globe Democrat in 1955 and in 2015. We're coming up on 60 years, which is amazing, an amazing amount of service to this uh, metropolitan community. Yeah, that's a lot of women in volunteer hours, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But uh, your, your celebration then, for those who maybe haven't been there, you have a big event in May. And I've been fortunate enough to attend, and I know what a big event it is with so many hundreds of women who attend and men. Um, tell us a little bit about what to expect in the May event. Well, our mission is to honor women um, with dedicated service and leadership, and we pick 10 honorees each year. And the point of our luncheon is to show them off to the community and all the PR that comes before. And that day, which this year is Tuesday, May the 5th, it's at the Ritz-Carlton, and we have had as many as up to 800 people, and we showcase the women and make it a wonderful day of honor in the community for them. We give them an award, which is a silver tray, and we show a video, uh, which they have done with a spokesperson. Um, it's a 30-minute video of the 10 women, and it talks about all the amazing things that they have done in the community to have... Uh, been nominated and selected for the award. So going back for uh, a minute to every year 10 women are honored at the May event but they've been nominated prior right. to that right. and the nomination um, final date this year is January 5th. Correct. And so uh, from now until then anybody can nominate either themselves or a colleague or a friend a, a woman in our community who has contributed in, in what ways? What are you looking for Nancy? We are just looking for a tremendous diversity, Sarah. We want diversity of age, ethnicity, uh, religion, um, anything you can think of, and also the type of work they do. They might have worked with children, or um, that's what I did myself. I'm a psychologist, and I worked at an agency and have run a lot of boards. And um, they might have worked with women or domestic violence or worked in the arts uh, at the zoo, at the museum, at the symphony. Uh, they might have done advocacy or social justice or philanthropy. It just runs the gamut of what our women have done in the community. And you're specifically, when you say work, you're talking about volunteer, volunteer work. work. Okay. Yes, very good point. Thank you. That's what I should be really making is that we want volunteers. And while we have women who sometimes have full-time jobs, it's their volunteer careers that we're looking uh, to honor them for and the number of hours they've given and the uh, vitality and the impact of this service is what is important in the selection process. Mm -hmm. So every year, really, the, the, these 10 women are women who many people know because they've been out in our community. They've spent a lot of, a lot of their own personal hours contributing in so all these different ways that you just mentioned. And, um, and so it is a really great event to go and see these women and to learn from them and to learn about um, how we can also contribute in similar ways. Right. Well, as a psychologist, I really have learned over the years that it's what you do for others that helps to build your self-esteem and make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the women are very well known. You'll see them in our sponsors who are KMOX and um, Ladue News and the Post-Dispatch. And you may see their pictures at charity events, but you also will find among our 10 women are just unheard of women mm -hmm. who are out there toiling or leading organizations. They saw a need in the community and they started an organization to fill that gap. And they don't have to be well known, but as you said, we need nominations from colleagues or friends or family or self nominations. And now is the time and we do it online and it's a confidential selection process, very fair. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't see the name of the nominee, so we're not impressed if some head honcho in the community nominates someone. The, the selection mm -hmm. committees don't actually see that, but they do see who is the woman and they see how her 
volunteer activities have impacted the community and the people that they've served. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. So we're going to come back in just a few minutes, Nancy, and talk about specifically about the nomination process, what kinds of things people should be, um, information they should be gathering to be ready to make that deadline by January 5th. So we're going to take a quick break right now and come back and learn more about Women of Achievement. Stay tuned to SDL TV Live. We'll have much more uh, with Nancy and Women of Achievement after this break.